Hi guys, Judy here. I'm about to go to bed here on a Tuesday night. It's kind of getting late, but um, I just wanted to share a little bit, you know, this rapture-centric walk we're on here. It's pretty comical if you think about it. And the Lord was, um, he was just making me laugh with the scenarios. He does these cartoon things where he makes me see things in cartoons and it cracks me up. And it's really funny because I, I thought about it after he fell on my son. He would show him some things in cartoon. And it was the most interesting thing. He didn't do it all the time, but once in a while he would do that. And, um, and he's been doing that with me lately, which is just cracking me up. Like, how would the rapture-centric person deal with this, you know? <laughs> Oh, we're not going to be here. Throw it away. You know, like taking shortcuts. He's just making me laugh. Like, you know, rapture-centric living. It's pretty funny. Like, I mean, I really would do things that I would have never done before. Like, you know, normally if I wanted to reuse a bucket, I would just clean it. And then like rapture-centric, well, we're not going to be here. Just throw it out. You know, <laughs> just different things like that. You just, come on, you name it. Think about your own life, you know. Think about the things that you do because the rap, you know, the rap, there's not much time left. And, you know, you maybe you take shortcuts so that you can just dream about and have your head in the, have your head in the clouds. And I told the Lord that today, I go, God, I just have my head in the clouds. I really do. I'm just, I mean, I'm, what I do every day requires my attention, but I still have my head in the clouds, even though I have to really focus and, and get things done. I'm, I feel like I'm just not even here. I'm just, anyway. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say something. Sarah Bell has been making some videos. I've been liking them um, on my feed. And um, she's been doing some singing. It's beautiful, like rapture songs. She's never done this before. And she has a beautiful voice to top it off. But um, they're really cool songs. And she made one video about birds, how the birds are chirping a lot. And it's so funny she said that because that's been happening where we live. I'm like, what is going on? Okay, it's just like the birds are screaming. I mean, like shofars or something. And there's this one bird and we named him two days ago. And when I saw her video, I just was like, you guys got to watch the video about the birds she made, but I'll put a link to her channel and stuff in my, um, comment section, but, and in my description box, but anyway, she, um, I saw the video, but I didn't, hadn't seen it until today, but two days ago, I named this bird Crazy Bird, because he's crazy, okay, and he, like, sits and he chirps day and night, it's like he doesn't understand, you're not supposed to chirp right now, okay, <laughs> and he's just, and it's funny because my cat Sam Chi meows when he chirps. And my sister and I were on the porch on Sunday. We thought it was so funny. She's like, Rar! and he's like, chirp, chirp, chirp. and both the cats, Bubs is a hunter, but Bubs is not going after him. <laughs> I think the animals know it's time. I really am in tune with the animals and nature. That's just my thing. Always has been. Um, and I now have four outdoor cats and of course two indoor, well, they're indoor, outdoor, they're mine, but four adopted cats now that neighborhood ferals, one we named Snowy, one is Leopard, one is Bobby, and one is Wild Thing. And I just had the best day today because I told my son, I feel like I'm in heaven right now. This would be heaven for me. All six cats were on the front patio with me. <laughs> it just made me so happy. And I'm just so attracted to cats. And Jesus is a cat, you know. He chose, he could have chosen any animal. And he chose to be the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he also chose to be a lamb. So, okay, so two things. But the cat thing, I mean, come on, he's a cat. And I was surrounded by six cats today. And I was like, I'm so happy because I'm... I'm with Jesus, you know, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I will be a crazy cat lady if he doesn't get here soon. I will. My cats will just multiply and 
I'm just literally going to work so I can pay for all the food, you know, because <laughs> I don't just feed them. I feed them tuna fish, and I just love these cats. One of these cats that came to me recently has a big, huge bump on his head, and I'm praying over him. His name is Snowy, and um, I, I'm just praying that the Lord heals him and that I don't have to bring him to the vet because I really can't afford that, but I just love this kitty. He seems fine and happy. I just, it's really big lump. Anyway, I just trust in the Lord to take care of them, and I give them all the love and food I can. And these cats, now I, I'm bringing this up to say this. Zerbo made a video about the birds. Let me get back to my original point. And how they're just acting like maybe they're singing and welcoming the Lord because they're being extra loud and I agree it wasn't like this last last springtime and um but I'm I'm I think the animals kind of know because why all the feral cats are now grouping around me they don't normally do that and normally my cats Bubs especially won't let them all up in our area he, they have to stay a certain distance Bubs doesn't care and I'm thinking this is a touch of what's heaven heaven's gonna be like we must be getting close to the rapture and even the animals are getting partly maybe transformed. You know, the birds are chirping louder because all creation knows that Jesus lives and they must be able to sense that he's getting closer. You know, they know what's up. They, they know. They're in tune. They know. And um, I was thinking that today. I was like, these animals, one of them even came, tried to come in the house. These are feral cats. Don't do that. And this, this is Bobby the Bobcat. He came in my front door. And, and the other ones, it's like the lion and the lamb. We're just all laying together. Cats are very territorial, but they were all like chilling. Like it, nobody was scared, you know, screaming at anyone to leave, which does happen. Sometimes. Some of the, this one pepper that I made the video about that he went in my car. He sometimes thinks he owns the outdoor part of the house. And chases some of the other ferals away. But he wasn't doing that. He wasn't doing that. It was like we were all in peace and harmony. So I take it as a huge flirt from the Lord. I'm rapture centric. So I, I ponder these things, you know. And um, the Lord made me like this. So it's his fault. The only cure is the rapture. And you will not be cured. I've had this ailment since 2013. November 19th to be exact, when he landed on my son and made him a prophet and he announced things for about four months and then God lifted his spirit. But I don't just, you know, we live in the afterglow of, of all the knowledge and what God showed us and it's just amazing to be living like this. It's not for wimps. It's totally up and down, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of more of a steady Eddie now. I mean, I'm up and down with the Lord, but, you know, like sharing in his sorrow and getting excited about his return and sharing in his joy and all the different emotions that our king is going through, our drama king of kings. But the bipolar ride is, but I am, I'm getting sort of like, ah, oh, it's cool. I know he's coming. I'm getting excited, but I just, um, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting to be more seasoned, seasoned, uh, rapture waiter, <laughs> rapture centric jackass. You know, I'm, I'm just, I don't have as much rapture stress as I used to have. I'm just kind of, my heads are in the cloud. It's just a different, it's funny to see how I've evolved into this lifestyle. It's something I would have never chosen. I think it's insane. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, it's it's a calling. And those of you that are watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. It's a calling. It's like, you can't help it. I can't be any other way. God did this to me. It's his fault. He has the cure. The only cure is taking us out of here. And I always remind them, remind him of that when I don't have productive days. I'm like, you made me this way. It's your fault. So, you know, and he laughs. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just blame everything on him. I'm like, I am... You know, and when I say bipolar, guys, I don't, our medication, I don't mean literally, like, and if you are bipolar, I'm sorry if I offended you, God loves you, and, and you know, take your medicine if that's what you're supposed to do, but this is a rapture-induced bipolar, and I just, um, our medication is God, 
Our medication, I take it all day long, is his peace, joy, love, and freedom. And that those are our meds that we take in this wild ride of up and down and, you know, all the stuff that's going on if you're really rapture-centric. And he's our peace, okay? And he's good. It's a good thing, this rapture-induced bipolar living with our drama king of kings it's it's all good it's 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 a beautiful ride and um i just want to share some things with the animals that were going on i think it's very cool i think he's coming very soon even the animals know it in my opinion the feral cats know it it's like everyone's getting along all the animals it's really cool and even the cats that normally run from my dog aren't and um i just thought it was funny i'm surrounded with six cats and, you know, a cat is literally going to be taking me up out of here any second now. And um, when God fell on my son, he would see Jesus as a, as a lion sometimes. Sometimes Jesus, he saw him actually shapeshift. He saw him coming down from the clouds. And then he saw him in midair turn into a lion and then land on the earth as a lion. So he was Jesus in the air and then he landed as a, on, as a lion and he could hear his paws pounding on the ground and he felt the earth shake he said the earth shakes when he lands and that's his judgment so um if i get to shape shift into an animal when we get to heaven i want to be a snow leopard i want to be an owl <laughs> you know i know call me crazy but you know god is fun and if he can be a cat why can't i once in a while right Guys, we're in for a wild ride. God is so fun. Spend lots of time with him, and you can be as crazy and goofy as I am. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, don't go as far as I am. It's it's hard. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.